My Lords, we have a policy. We have a policy of a two-state solution, but we do not recognise Palestine as a state. Ministers refuse to even use its name. We have a policy of a peace process, but we have no appetite to initiate or prioritise one. We have a policy that settlement building is illegal and contrary to international law, yet there is no consequence where every year more and more settlers, supported by the Israeli government and diaspora groups, occupy more land in Palestine. We do nothing to deter Israel from expanding settlements, forced evictions and home demolitions. This is ethnic cleansing and is denying the reality of the state of Palestine to even exist. Our policy is that East Jerusalem is an integral part of a future Palestinian state. And yet we do nothing as extremists barge into homes terrorising Palestinian families <coughs> who have lived there for generations. Our policy is to defend human rights, but no action follows as hundreds of Palestinian children every year are arrested, mistreated and incarcerated. Our policy is supporting international accountability and funding the International Criminal Court, but we oppose the ICC's investigation into war crimes in Palestine. Each time, my Lords, we fail to implement our own policy, we send out the message to an ever-extremist right-wing Israeli government that there will be no cost or consequences for its treatment of the Palestinians. This total impunity is feeding Israel's prolific rise in far-right extremism, leaving a society fighting for its very soul. So I want to put on record what we know now, so that there can be no doubt in future generations that we knew. We know about the dispossessions in Sheikh Jarrah, about the chants of death to Arabs in Jerusalem, about the attacks on worshippers in Al-Aqsa, about the attacks outside the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. We know in the West Bank, Palestinians and Israeli settlers live side by side, the former legally but under military law, without the most basic of utilities, the latter 630,000 strong and growing, illegally present yet governed by civilian law and living in relative luxury. Two peoples in the same land, but with differing legal systems and even separate roads to the same place.